everyone you're welcome back to my youtube channel once again thank you for tuning in wherever you are all over the world i say you are highly welcome and if you are new here you are most welcome thank you all for your support and your love towards this channel i say god bless you all so today without further ado we shall be making this beautiful piece on your screen if you are seeing this dress on me for the very first time the link is in the description box click on it and it will take you there right away thank you so guys for this tutorial we shall be making use of this african print all together here i have a ccs by width ccs by length 45 inches okay so i've already placed my fabric on fold but i'll be explaining how i did it so what i did firstly i measure out my shoulder length that is from the center back here then i place it to my desired length mine is 18 inches okay then i added two inches extra to it making it 20 inches so from the starting point of the fabric may around 20 inches like this i'm doing this because of the new bees 20 inches like this then i folded it again okay so that's one quarter of the body which is the back part so for the front part because this is a shirt and it's going to have a buttons then i added two and a half inches to heat making it 22.5 so same thing I open it again for the front then i place my measurement like this measure 22 and a half inches then i folded it like this again okay so that's for the front exactly what i have on my table so let's proceed now and place the measurements right exactly what i explained earlier on this is it this is the buttonhole two and a half inches i folded it in because i don't want it to be coming my way while placing the body measurements okay so for the length of this dress i'll be making use of the whole length of the fabric which is 45 inches okay including allowance but if yours is less than that endeavor to place your measurement okay so let's go ahead now and place the body measurement shoulder measurement for this uh, tutorial is 18 inches that is from the center back of my neck this is it okay you measure it to your desired length mine is 18 inches then i had it two inches extra making 20 inches okay so i'll be placing 20 inches on my fabric from this folded edge now as you can see both front and the back i've placed it on fold they are equal now so i will go in by 20 inches from here this is it it stops here so from where this 20 inches stops i will go down by two inches for my shoulder slope this is it from this folded edge now i will place my neck width my neck width for this tutorial will be three and a half inches and the neck depth will be three and a half inches as well then i'll connect it together for the back neck depth i'll make it a one inch which is standard then i'll curve it out then from where the neck width stop i'll connect it to the shoulder slope which is the two inches we have here for the round sleeve my round sleeve for this uh, tutorial is 17 inches 17 divided by two that will be eight and a half then i'll be adding one and a half inches extra to heat making 10 so from where this shoulder slope stopped i will go down by 10 inches and i will connect it from where this 10 inches stop i will move in by two inches for my underarm curve this is it so for the hem of the dress whatever i have on my shoulder line which is 20 inches i will also place it on the hem line so from the folded edge of the hem of the dress 
I will go in by 20 inches. I've done placing the measurement for the hemline of the dress. So I'll go ahead and connect this part, which is the two inches I went thin with for the other hand cuff. So I'll connect it to the hemline of the dress. For this part now, from this corner, from this diagonal corner, just go in by half an inch like this, then curve it curve it just to give us that uh, underhand curve okay for this down part i'll be slitting both sides of the dress so i'll go up by six inches from the hemline of the dress so by the time i hem it i should have about four inches left i think we are done with the measurement now we should go ahead and cut it out after cutting it now I will take it to my sewing machine, but I will take you guys along so that you see how I will be stitching it up. So this is the front piece. I will take the front piece first. This is the wrong side. Remember, I left two and a half inches for the buttonhole. So this is what I will do. I will fold in half an inch first, then one inch. Okay, and when you are doing yours, make sure the one inch stop on the notch area. Okay, don't exceed it, that is, don't let it go beyond one inch. Okay, or your notch parts. So I will take it down to the M line of the dress. Same thing, I will repeat it on the other panel of the front piece. Okay, so let's go and do that right away. Then after that, I will now join it to the back piece, shoulder to shoulder. So like I said, I will fold in half an inch first and fold in one inch. Just on the notch area where the buttonhole stops. Okay? So I will place it like this. And when you are folding it, you fold it in to the wrong side of the dress. Okay? is going to look after stitching it then i'll repeat same on the other side then i'll go ahead now and join the front piece to the back piece right side facing each other shoulder to shoulder as you can see so i'll take it half an inch <music> joining it now i'll go ahead and measure out the neckline and i'll place my tape measure like so i'll go around i have 21 and a half so the color stand is going to be one inch on fold one inch so 21 and a half plus one inch that will be 22 and a half okay I said if you haven't watched it i made a video on it i'll drop the link in the description box kindly watch it right after stitching it then i ironed it this is how it's looking now so i'll go ahead and place it right side this is the right side of the dress the right side of the collar, I'll place it like this, center to center. I'll place it right. So, after placing it, there is it. Right side facing each other. So, I'll give it half an inch. After that, I will joining side seam to side seam then i'll fold in my sleeve then the down parts we are done let's do that together 
So I've placed it the right side of the collar, facing the right side of the dress, like this. And make sure the buttonhole matches together with the collar stand. Half an inch. When you are done, you flatten it like this. Just like you are using it to cover the seam. Okay? And make sure the first one is inside, as you can see. You see, you fold in half an inch. You place it on this. And I'll do it right away. guys this is the look of our dress looking gorgeous this is the collar the buttons the sleeve the damp parts the back this is it this is the inside right so a few more things before we draw the cutin for today's tutorial the first thing is about the collar. Like I said in the video, if you haven't watched it, kindly do. I made a tutorial on how to cut and stitch it, okay? So that you have a more understanding of it. Because in today's tutorial, I didn't explain much about it, okay? And for the button, I placed the button on the right side of my hand. I mean, right hand side. Why the button holes? Uh, on the left hand side okay and if you're wondering how do i place the buttons i mean the distance i gave it four inches interval as you can see here four inches all through okay sometimes i use three sometimes i use four so it depends one more thing about the sleeve as you can see the sleeve is well laid now because it wasn't like this when i finished earlier on it was not laid properly so to do that, all you have to do is, as you can see here, there's a curve here under the ham. There's a curve here. So you open inside exactly where the curve is inside. You give it a notch. And while doing that, you careful not to notch through this seam line. Okay. So when you do that, have a well laid sleeve. Okay. The buttons, as you can see, I know you might be spotting it on your screen. I have miss button here, white and black. This is all I have at home. But you are making yours or you are making it for your client. Endeavor to use a matching buttons. Okay. Oh, that is all about this dress. It's a beautiful dress, casual dress. You can rock it with your low heel sander. You can rock it with your trainers. And if you want to make the waist snatched, you can use your belt as well very simple to wear i think that is all about the dress so guys this brings us to the end of today's tutorial and i want to say a massive thank you for watching to the end i hope the video has been helpful don't forget to like it like i always say the more you like it the more you encourage me to do more okay share it with friends and family let me know what you think in the comment section below and regarding the dress let me know your take as well are you the type that doesn't like it too loose or you don't like it fitted or you like it 
fitted. Let me know in the comment section below. But for me, I don't like to fitted. Okay. So, and if you haven't joined this beautiful family, kindly press the red subscribe button down below. And don't forget to turn your, your notification bell for new updates. Okay. Thank you so much. I love you all. Remain blessed. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.